Hi guys, so today we're going to look at replies in Thread. By the end of this video, you'll know why replies are important, how to spot when you've made a mistake in replying to a thread, and most importantly, how to recover when you have made a mistake. Hi, I'm Gavin Jones. In my day job in a Fortune 500 company, I'm in charge of Teams training, and these tips that we've got coming out on YouTube every Tuesday are just some of the struggling points that we've seen our users have even after training. So hopefully you'll find them useful as well. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you get notified every time we get a video coming out, which is every Tuesday. And without further ado, let's get into looking at replies in Thread. So if we jump into Teams and um, start taking a look at what we've got on screen, I'm in the test team here, which is why I'm the only person posting in here. Uh, but we see we've got a few um, conversations going on. So some of them are just in individual posts. Some of them have got a couple of replies. So it's really important to keep things in context in Teams. So if I reply to this message to myself up here um, and go out and back into that channel, it's going to jump that entire post or that, that entire thread down to the bottom of the channel. So it's always got the latest thread at the bottom, which is going to be important later. So when I reply, it does two things. It's uh, one, it's keeping all the chat together, but also it's notifying everybody above me in the thread. So if there's more than me just replying, so this was Bob that posted at the top. Um, and then Jim posted second. When I then replied in the third message, Jim and Bob would get notified because they're above me in the thread. If I wanted to bring more people into that thread, I'd have to out mention them individually, or if it was a post that started with a channel mention, and then further down, I, wanted to, I posted something that I also wanted the whole channel to know, I'd need to do another channel mention in the thread. If you don't know what I'm talking about for app mentioning people, then you want to see our app mentioning video, which I'll link in the comments below. And what we've seen some of our users doing is instead of replying when they're meant to reply, they're actually starting a new conversation. So if you're applying to something at the bottom of the screen, then the boxes are quite close together. Um, but Teams always try to help you out. So when you're doing a reply, obviously you have to need to click the reply button, um, which people do miss. And then it says reply and that you're replying. If I type a new message, one it says type a new message. And if I click in there, it says start a new conversation. So if I meant to reply to this thread here and start a new conversation instead, then you can see that it's not a reply because that one, there's a gap between what you've posted and this thread. Um, and also it's not indented underneath anything. It's a brand new message there. So people have been doing that by accident and not realizing why it's uh, not a good idea. So Teams, as I said, Teams keeps everything in chronological order of the latest thread. So if I reply, if I if someone meant to reply to this um, and then put C above, um, this can quite quickly get out of order. Because if I then reply to this message, that entire thread is gonna jump down to the bottom and it won't be above anymore if I was replying to that thread. So if I go out of the channel and back in, that entire thread's popped down. And what we've seen in real life is that people are writing a message, not in a thread, and it's not related to anything, so it doesn't make any sense. So no one can follow what's going on with that message. And um, worse than that is if you do a new message without at mentioning anybody, no one's gonna get notified. So if I meant to reply, I don't need to do an app mention if all I want to notify is the people above me in the thread. If I started a new message, no one's going to get notified uh, because you're not posting into that thread. And then even worse than that, you can create a split thread. So then if I did have this thread and these two messages, the next person coming in that wants to reply doesn't know whether to reply to this one, uh, this one or this one. So. I might get notified about one, someone else might get notified about another one, assuming these are different people posting. Um, so basically we just want to avoid a split thread um, at all costs. Is this making sense? Have you ever had this problem before? 
If so, type thread in the comments below and let us know. If you do post in the wrong place by accident, then one, you can, like I said, you can no notice by the, there's a gap and it's not indented anywhere. But to recover from that, most importantly, always remember you can edit and delete your own posts in Teams. If you uh, meant to reply and it went in the wrong place, the easiest way to get out of it is just delete your own message and then put, put what you meant to reply in, an, in a new reply. To make that a real life example, if I went to put this C above in the reply here, I can highlight the text, save me typing it again, Control C to copy it, click reply, paste it in there and post the reply. So then at least I've replied in thread and kept the thread going. And then I don't want to leave this message hanging there because I could still end up with a split thread if someone replies to this post. So I really want to go ahead and delete that, that message or these two actually. So that's how to get out of posting something in the wrong place if you're meant to reply. Hope that was useful. Remember to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this type of content. We produce new Teams videos every Tuesday and if you hit the little bell notification you'll get notified every time there's a new one coming out. If there's anything else you'd like us to cover that we haven't already then let us know in the comments below. And was this useful? Uh, did you know about replying in the thread before this video? Are you going to use it going forwards? Let us know in the quiz that will pop up above me in a second. And then I'm really passionate about Teams as part of my day job. We're trying to make people's lives easier and Teams is a great piece of software for doing that. Me Time is also passionate about helping people save time to do things they love and we are tackling meeting behaviours at Me Time. We've got a really simple app uh, which you can check out at metimeapps.com and uh, we'd really appreciate if you went and had a look and find out more. Link in the comments below if you want to know more about that. So thanks for taking a look at our video and I'll see you in the next one.